Hello everyone, my name is Zoe Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to set up and install a custom loading screen into your guys' 5M server updated in 2025. So let's launch into it straight away. First things first, you guys are going to want to do is set up a 5M server. If you haven't done that, be sure to watch one of my videos on how to set one up. Today I'm just using a basic Cubicore 5M server. You guys will know Cubicore comes with a loading screen from default, but as long as we do what we're going to show you in this video, it will overwrite it. And this will be the same for any other 5M server framework. So you can use any loading screen you want, but I use this one right here. This isn't sponsored or anything. It's free. You guys use whatever you want, but this is what I use. I find it the easiest. It's a website called 5MLSM.com. It's a custom 5M loading screen that you can set up and then just drag and drop in. And you don't have to faff around with changing the loading screen URL for a custom YouTube video and all that bollocks. It's actually really easy to do. So come to this website if you want, otherwise pick another loading screen and then just click go to dashboard or sign into your account and we're going to create ourselves a loading screen. You do not need the pro, just ignore that. We're going to add new and we're going to make ourselves a nice little loading screen. Setting up the loading screen is really straightforward and easy. You can see right here, this is the loading screen we've got right now and you can edit it by using the self-explanatory buttons. You can even edit the text directly, literally just by deleting it and then typing it in. So you can type in a description of your roleplay server like this or whatever you want and change the name. It's super straightforward and easy. Same with the logos. You can just left click them to change the image. If you guys are looking to host and make your next 5M server, then my company, HTNetwork.1, is the perfect place for you. Head on down to the description below to come to the website, HTNetwork.1. And here you can get fully built 5M servers that install automatically and server hosting. For the 5M server, simply head on over to the server packs page and pick a framework which suits you best. And then watch the provider video guide, which will use our custom built application to install all of it automatically for you. And this even includes our own custom 5M RP framework, which you cannot get anywhere else. And then if you guys are also looking for server hosting, simply head on over to the server hosting page, use our find my plan feature, select 5M how many players, how many mods, and it will give you the recommended plan. All of this out down in the description below at www.htnetwork.one. Okay, so I've gone through and just changed a bit of bobs, and I've changed the background, the logo, my name. Uh, you don't really need to mess around with this. You can, Well, you need to mess around with the staff team, but things like this will automatically fill out. You can change the rules if you want, but I don't want to take too much off your time. So I've messed around with it, and now to install it, all you're going to want to do, make sure you save changes. We're going to go back and we're simply going to click install on your server and it's going to download a nice little zip if we click download load screen once you've got the zip open the zip on up with winrar and then very simply go to your 5m server folder mine is on my desktop right here called 5m server open it on up go inside of tx data and then your framework so mine is cubicore and then go inside of your resources folder inside of here we're going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it brackets loading and then green like so and then a closing bracket and then we're going to drag and drop this 5m lsm folder into this folder like so just like that we are done with this part and now we're going to go back to the resources folder copy that folder name we just made and locate our server.cfg open that on up with any document viewer scroll on down and we're going to make sure that we ensure it last after the default cubicore loading screen that means that it will load it afterwards which means that it will be the last thing that loads so it will overwrite the default cubicore loading screen we're going to type enter and then ensure and paste in our loading screen and if you want to be extra organized we can categorize it off like this by doing a hashtag and do loading screen Boom, just like that, nice and easy. File and save and close it on down. Now, just in case you do have Cubicore or ESX and there isn't overwriting on the loading screen for whatever reason, go inside of your resources folder, look for the main framework folders of a Cubicore, that's QB for ESX, that's ESX, and then simply look for the loading screen resource. So that's right here in Cubicore, it's called QB dash loading. And then delete it, doesn't matter, it won't mess up anything. And we've already got a loading screen, so we'll just delete it. From here, we're good to go. We've got the loading screen going. We don't need to configure it. And if we do want to change it, you can simply go back to the website to edit it. And then from here, we're going to go and launch our 5M server. And there you guys go. We are loading in to our 5M server with our custom loading screen. And it looks really, really good. And it was super easy to set up and simple. And it required 
little to no complicated configuration.